Good evening, everyone. I welcome you all of all of you to our webinar, Explore the World of Laser Vision Correction with Dr. Rajiv Mechia. I would like to tell about Dr. Rajiv Mechia. Dr. Rajiv Mechia is Medical Director and Head of Clinical Services at Mechia Laser Eye Clinic, a unit of Dr. Agarwal Eye Healthcare. He carries more than 42 years of experience in field of ophthalmology. He completed his MS Ophthalmology in year 1982. Post that, he did his fellowship in retina surgery from Shankar Netrale in Chennai near 1987-88. Dr. Mirchia was first to introduce all kinds of lasers, argon lasers, YAG laser, excimal laser for various eye elements in this region. He was also first to introduce stitchless cataract surgery. First LASIK vision correction surgery of the region was done by Dr. Mirchia in year 2006 and till then, Till now, he has done more than 25,000 laser vision corrections. He was also a pioneer to introduce Nobel Prize winning third generation uh, vision correction surgery, which is most advanced vision correction called Relic Smile in year 2016. Since then, he has operated more than 3,000 smile surgeries. Uh, please join your hands to welcome our Dr. Merchia, our revered medical director. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I take this opportunity to thank all of you to invite me for this talk. And this topic is close to my heart. Today, we would delve into the world of laser vision correction. In this presentation, we would like to talk about the introduction, refractive errors, what are the type of refractive errors, type of refractive procedures, pre and post operative care, eligibility and benefits of LASIK procedures. In the end, I would love to have question and answer session with you. Imagine a world where you can wake up each morning and see clearly without the need of glasses or contact lenses. Patients for lifetime or for long periods have been using glasses and contact lenses. And once they get their refractive procedures done, the next morning, they still try to grow for their glasses as a habit and are surprised to know or see that they can watch without glasses. The common type of refractive errors are, it could be myopia, which means the distant vision is affected. In this, usually the rays of light focus before the retina and we would have to give you minus glasses to shift the focus of light from the mid cavity to the retina or the seeing portion of the eye so that one can see clearly. Hyperopia is far sightedness in which close objects become blurry, but distant ones are clear, or sometimes both are unclear. In astigmatism, basically vision is distorted due to irregular cornea or lens shape. I like to describe it to my patients, explaining or giving an example of a rugby ball. If the eye is spherical, the axis or the length of axis in all the quadrants is equivalent. In a rugby ball, the ball is longitudinally long and horizontally short. This is what happens if you have astigmatism. One of the axes is longer or shorter and we need to compensate with the special toric lenses or toric glasses in which the plane of the lens or the power of the lens is in the axis where you require it and the other axis remains normal. Presbyopia is a normal age related problem and the first sign and symptom is that you start stretching your arm to watch or read for near vision close to 40 years of age. This is a normal physiological change and it ought to happen for everyone. The type of refractive procedures can be categorized 
from basic to advanced like prk trans prk lasik smile and icl prk is a laser eye surgery that reshapes your corneal surface here alongside numbing solution or anesthetizing drops are put into the eye and alcohol solution is placed on the eye to help soften the cornea or even without that we can scrape the epithelium the superficial most layer of the cornea do the laser the which is an excimer laser and put up a bandage lens or patch the eye for refractive procedure i'm going to show you a demo for a prk excimer laser one second please yeah. this is an animation and it's absolutely a painless procedure in which we put up a ring mark the ring and thereafter a drop of alcohol is put in so that it loosens or softens the epithelium the epithelium is then scraped and the eye is exposed to the excimer laser which just reshapes your corneal surface there is nothing implanted no artificial lenses and makes the eye a little less spherical so the rays of light focus or the focal length increases it's as simple as that So LASIK uses a laser to reshape the cornea correcting vision problems like nearsightedness farsightedness and astigmatism in LASIK a flap is created on the cornea to reshape its reshape it using a laser again we would like to show you an animation here first laser just makes a corneal flap which is affected onto a hinge or reflected on a hinge and the excimer laser is done underneath the flap is put back and it remains in position because of viscosity and we don't need to stitch it or put up any kind of uh, bandage contact lenses on top of it the smile is a minimal invasive refractive surgery that reshapes your cornea to correct vision problems like nearsightedness all through a small incision the small incision is just 1 1/2 to 2 mm and through this incision we extract a lenticle or a small extract a small corneal tissue to reshape the corneas again trying to make it fl flat small animate animation again to show you what the femtosecond laser can do to the eye to remove your glasses if the laser is so sophisticated that goes into the layers and makes a small little disk according to your numbers which are all computerized all automated and it makes a small mark just a small opening which is 1 1/2 to 2 mm and this small disk which was created by the femtosecond laser is just pulled out through this small incision and the eye is not disturbed there are no flap cuts chances of dryness are minimized and patient can be back to work next morning the icl the which is implantable collimer lens it's a very very fine thin lens and it's a refractive procedure where a clear prescription lens is implanted inside the eye to correct vision this is often used for very high myopia or astigmatism which normally fail to 
adapt or get treated by the normal procedures. For eligibility, there are various factors. And first of all, the age, the patient's age should be above 17, 18 years of age. Once they stabilize in their growth, the vision should be stable. The corneal thickness has to be adequate enough because some tissue is ablated by the examiner laser or the femtosecond laser. Overall eye health has to be good. No dry eye syndromes, no previous existing eye conditions or autoimmune diseases. The LASIK is relatively a quick out, outdoor procedure. Both the eyes usually are operated at the same time unless the patient desires anything different. And it's often completed in less than 10-12 minutes. The smile procedure would take even shorter, say about 5-6 to six minutes for both the eyes and patient just walks out. The preoperative care means basically a consultation, making patient aware what the procedure entails. Patient should stop wearing his contact lenses a few days before so that there are no impressions or any chances of infections onto the cornea. Medications. Basically one antibiotic drop could be started a day before or on the day of the laser procedure. The support system one has to look into, somebody should be accompanying the patient so that even if he's a little blurred on the first few hours, somebody's there to help him back home. The eye health and hygiene is very important. The post-op recovery is very quick. One can wear protective eyewears, but smile procedures, we normally do not prescribe anything unless the patient is more sensitive. Use the prescribed drops in which basically there would be an antibiotic drop and the lubricants. One can one should avoid strenuous activities for a few days, limit screen time and reading. Report any concerns and one must follow up on the appointments. This is Elastic procedure does entail a visual freedom and inconvenience. It's quick recovery, cost effective, enhanced self esteem, clearer vision in all conditions, no fogging or smudging of the glasses, long lasting results, better lifestyle. I would love to take the questions from the audience. If you have any queries, please. Uh, thank you, sir. It was really very insightful and very knowledgeable presentation. So, uh, chat box is open to the questions. You can uh, write your questions in the chat box. So, the first question which has come up to us is, um, is this procedure painful? And uh, if yes, how much time this pain is going to stay? The procedure is absolutely painless. All of them, other than PRK, which is older procedure, is not subjected to patients are usually not subjected to PRK very often these days. But in PRK also, there's no pain, but some irritation can persist till the epithelium heals. Smile and LASIK are basically a painless procedure. Okay, sir. So another set of question has come up to us. I am 43 years old, currently wearing progressive glasses. Is it advisable to do laser operation for glass free view? See, it's a personal choice. If you are more bothered with your distant vision, definitely you should go through it because despite you doing a laser or LASIK procedure, we could, you would still be left back with near vision glasses because of your age. Anybody above 40 years of age requires near vision glasses as we talked about press myopia and that would persist. There are other options in which we can do implants or trifocal IOLs, which can remove all numbers, but that's secondary. It's not like a LASIK or a laser procedure. Okay, sir. 
So another question that has come to us in uh, chat box is, can I go back to work immediately after surgery or does it have some time? I have to stay home? Normally, we do not advise patients to sit back home. Once they are through with their first post-op day, we tell them to do whatever they want to. Small bit of blurring because this focus may not be as good or they may be slightly blurred for near work, but they can definitely resume work next morning. Okay, sir. So another question which has come to us is, is it one-time procedure, lifelong procedure, or uh, should uh, would it be repeated after a few years again? This is a lifetime procedure unless the patient's number fluctuate or change for any reason. Quite a few patients can go through the procedure again, depending on the corneal thickness and other parameters. But some patients may not be good candidates for a second repeat procedure. So they would land up with glasses, but it's a very rare phenomenon. Most of the patients do not come back for glass prescriptions or with blurred vision thereafter. Okay, sir. So another question which has popped up in the chat box is, if I do LASIK surgery, will it restrict me from doing any other eye surgeries in the future? Never. See, the only thing is that you should be aware and you should inform your doctor that whenever he's ready to perform any other surgery like a cataract at a later date, because then your consulting doctor or your treating doctor would treat you or measure your parameters for the next IOL or anything a little differently. If you do not let him be aware, then sometimes the, there could be surprises in the case of some numbers for the glasses. Other than that, no restrictions for any kind of surgery thereafter. That's really nice to know, sir. Such a beautiful surgery. Uh, another question has come, sir. Is it time-consuming surgery and how much time each different surgery is taking, which you have explained in presentation? As I said, the PRK would take 7 to 10 minutes. The LASIK procedures again would take about 10 minutes. The quickest is basically a smile procedure because everything is done under one table and the procedure is so quick. The lenticule is created in about 20 seconds, 25 seconds. Mm -hmm. Thereafter, the removal of lenticle, another one, one and a half minute. So two to three minutes per eye. That's all we all profess for basically a smile procedure. That's, that's amazing, sir. The technology has advanced so far. Uh, another question has come to us is, are there any side effects of this surgery? The only side effect is that, yes, you can land back with glasses over a period of time if your numbers increase for any reason. If your numbers do not increase, you will not have any problems. So otherwise, there are no side effects once the your post-op period goes off smoothly. Okay, sir. Uh, another question, uh, al already sir has asked, uh, answered about this, but I'll again read the question because it has again come up. If I do LASIK now, get back power in the future, can I do LASIK procedure again? As I said, yes, it's a possibility that you could repeat your procedure again, provided your parameters are all right. You would still have to go through another test, what we call as a pentacam, corneal thickness, etc., and if everything is normal, yes, you can go through a second procedure again to remove your glasses. We do it so often for patients who have come back after 15, 20 years, want to still not wear glasses. It's a possibility to repeat the procedure. Okay, sir. So there's another question that my daughter is 14 and she is having 10 power. What should we suggest? At the moment, a regular checkup with your own ophthalmologist, wherever you are, nothing has to be done. And every examination after six months to one year, dilatation is a must. Wait till the child is 17, 18 years of age. <laughs> okay, sir. So there's another question that uh, my uh, power, I'll, uh, my power is after. Surgery 0.5 and do I need glasses again or uh, is it is it not? Sometimes small touching may be needed and this could be rectified post-op 
after two to three months. No need to worry about it. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, there's another question which has come to us. Um, how would these kind of surgeries hold if anyone has retinal degeneration? Repeat it again, please. If anybody has retinal degeneration, still they can get these surgeries done? They have to understand that they would have some limited vision. Whatever vision they have with glasses, they would attain without glasses. Yeah. Sometimes patients depressed that they have basically got through, gone through a procedure still, but they need to understand whatever vision they had with glasses prior to, or prior to laser, still they would have this similar kind of vision. They can. There's no contraindication for that. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, there's another question. Whether power of eye should be constant for all these type of surgeries? We would prefer that the eye power is constant at least six months, one year. Reason being, if the power is fluctuating too often, I do a procedure for you today. Tomorrow your powers fluctuate. Again, you would land up with glasses. So normally we advise patients to have a stable vision unless they are beyond 28, 29, 30 years of age where the relevance of stability does not arise. Okay, sir. Uh, one more question, very interesting question somebody has asked. If my spherical and cylindrical power is increasing gradually, uh, and should I still wait for surgery, uh, although I am around 40, uh, 35 years old? If this is, Usually that does not happen, that they would have increased gradually and keep on increasing. 0.25, 0.5 fluctuation here or there is always a possibility. But otherwise, if their numbers are stable, they can always go through the procedure. Age is no bar. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, one more uh, person has asked us question. If one has dry eyes, are there any chances he or she can go for LASIK after getting treatment for the dry eyes? Yes, they can. Then for those kind of patients, we always prefer to do a smile procedure instead of the LASIK procedures. The LASIK procedures, the dryness is a temporary phenomenon, usually goes off. So in some patients, it may persist for four, six months, but normally patients do not suffer because of dryness. So it's not a contraindication unless it is related to some systemic disease in which they have a chronic problem. Then we do not advise them to go through it. Lassic or a smile procedure. Right, sir. So, similar question has come to us. What are the measures to be taken after smile surgery to avoid power going up in the future? Basically, nobody can do anything. If your power has to increase, it has to increase. It's all physiological. So, see, it's a similar question. Ki, how would you let your child not have a higher number? If there had been some treatment, then definitely the child would not go into from one to two diopters to three diopters to four diopters. There's no known treatment which can check the growth or stop the growth of the numbers or reverse the process. Okay. But definitely good healthy diet, good source of light, plenty of fresh air, all these things do matter. Right, sir. Uh, uh, so we'll be taking one or two more questions and then we'll be wrapping up the session and you can drop your queries in patientcare at the rate agarwals.com. So sir, another question which has come to us is, can I go for cataract surgery in later years, even after doing the LASIK now? Yes, definitely. As we said, there is no contraindication for any kind of eye surgery, post LASIK or smile procedures. No. The only thing, uh, inform your doctor that you have been through that procedure. That's all. Okay. So, uh, most of the questions have been answered by Dr. Mechia, sir, beautifully. He's one of the leading uh, LASIK and refractive surgeon of the region. He has done more than 25,000 procedures in his tenure. And uh, his expertise and detailed presentation has really been insightful. Uh, we would request all of you, there's still so many questions coming up, so many things. I would request you to kindly write us to us at the address which is showing there, patient care.
at the rate dragarwal.com or you can call us at the number which is showing at the screen in case you want to have connect with doctor you want to book an appointment also you can connect on this number or you can walk in to sector 22 uh, dr agarwal's branch sector 22a chandigarh and uh, dr mitcha is available from 10 am to 2 pm in the afternoon so any questions we are glad to answer either online either in person or on the phone calls so sir thanks thanks for uh, answering all our questions so patiently and giving us such an insightful and knowledgeable session it was really very well articulated and uh, i think most of the even layman people who do not understand the ophthalmology terms they would have understood how the lasik is done how safe it is how easily it could be a uh, patient could easily move out of the ot just within few minutes with the new vision of his life and it is uh, such a safe procedure sir thanks for all the insights sir thank you harpreet and thank you everybody for making this session a wonderful success thank you very much thank you sir